Well, hello. And welcome back to the backlog. And welcome to Fall of Porcupine. This is a brand new cozy game by an indie developer that I've not heard of before. But I've looked into the game and it looks charming. And I'm excited to dive in and I'm excited to bring y'all along. So let's go and see what Fall of Porcupine has for us. Also, I have another copy of the game that I'm giving away, so watch carefully, subscribe, and I'll tell you shortly how to join that giveaway. Hey, Finley. Nice to see you at last. Mm -hmm. Why the long face? Oh, no reason. I... I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. Oh, who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? Oh, by the way, we need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. No. No, I, I, I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. <laughs> I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course, come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, yeah, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. Better? Y yes. I like this. <laughs> Coolamunda. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes. Yes. I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great. That's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm gonna look a little, take a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. All the choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. I guess we'll just go this way. <laughs> yes, we will push E. Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you're looking for? It's going quite well. It's really nice here. Person? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Let's go with person. What? Oh, oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? We're all having a great time, am I right? So, what are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Uh, who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. <laughs> That's Hugo. <laughs> we went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I got aphids. <laughs> Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on. Oh, we'll have that sorted in no time. A 
See? <laughs> no problem at all. No problem? The whole ground was shaking. Oh, here goes quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know. Okay, will do. Oh, I guess I guess we're supposed to jump. Oh, and we've got a sort of uh We gotta glide because we're we're a bird. <laughs> so we don't fall right down. That's nice. Like I said, it's gonna be chill times. It's gonna be good. Can I climb up here? No, I can't climb up there. A love fin star. A bear. Oh, how did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. <laughs> I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to climb to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water. Oh, seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more of a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken. <laughs> and coming from, uh, what am I, um, owl? Maybe I'm a chicken. I don't know what I am. That's saying something. Sploosh. Oh, we are on the water. Oh, and I can swim. Whee! We should probably talk to the, the plant again. Hey, buddy. You made it? You, know, you made it after all. Oh, you know, me, I never pass up on a, a good time. Are you all right? I'm g going to catch c cold. Then you'll need to t take care of me. <laughs> Go shopping for m me to do my t taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No. I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You w wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. Actually, maybe we c could get out of here. All right, all right. We'll get going. Let's go. We've got to figure out what's going on. Hello? Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it? No response. How rude. I have a feeling... This is not his normal existence. But I don't know if this is a dream or hallucination. Oh, the Finmeister. There you are. What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? A moment when the excess water disappears... And you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in. Oh, there's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forgot everything around me. Who are you again? Finley. You live with me? Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley Fonley, dingly, dongly. <laughs> it's all the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. Oh, I sure do have some strange notions. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations. You found someone. Your very best flower buddy. Now, grab yourself a drink and lie down on the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I... 
I'll, I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. All right, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. No, you are not, buddy. Wait, can I bounce on this? I cannot get high enough to bounce on that. <laughs> so that's a no. Wee Boing! <laughs> Shoot! Oh, I thought it was going to just bounce us over the... Okay. No. Oh, up into the sky. That's... That's nice. Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... Where Mr. Arns is? Mr. Arns? I was looking for Mr. Arns. He's a patient of ours. And he disappeared. I was taking the elevator. Something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arns. Otherwise, something will happen to him. Uh, sorry, Ingrid. Y you know how much I enjoy our conversations, but I've got a feeling something happened to Mr. Arns. Or is that Arn... Arndays? Arn... Arndays? No, we're going to go with Arns. We'll catch up again soon. I promise. Let me know in the comments if it's some pronounced differently. I, mm. There's too many, too many consonants there at the end. Wait, hold on. No, okay, I guess we do have to go here. In we go! Oh! There's a mystical glowy portal. Mr. Arns? He has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arns, can you hear me? It's never off to the left. Never off to the left. Oh. This we have to jump over. Oh, we're going to get some platformy goodness. Oh. Uh, maybe some platformy badness. Hello? Is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Oh! There's someone back there. Mr. Arns, is that you? Oh. That's... Blood. It's still fresh. Hello, creepy hooded figure? Mr. Arns, you're bleeding. Don't move. Oh, what? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm, I'm going to help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Oh, no! And for those of you who are still watching, in order to join the giveaway to win a Steam copy of this particular game, all you have to do is comment down below and mention one thing that you really enjoy about this game that no one else has mentioned before. And I'll be giving away that Steam key pretty soon. Okay, let's turn that off. Okay. Um... Messenger from Mia... Hope you're feeling good again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me about what happened. Good morning. Consider it done. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, Finley. Just send you my number. Hello. Okay, me too. Just rest up for a few days and I'll be back to work. Cute. It has the full, the whole conversation. Mom. <laughs> that is a lot of conversation. <laughs> oh, they did a bunch of fun writing. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. Let's see what else. No tasks available. Notes on our various people. I met Pino on my way to work. She's very nice and has a flower shop in Porcupine, and she's my first real contact here. Ingrid, <laughs> Carl, and Mia. Okay. Help. Man, another of those weird dreams. I feel real groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up on sleeping altogether. Ugh. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. I hate that feeling. Hello? Oh, oh, there's our plant. <laughs> there you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite the restless night. It's all right for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, I, already I'm feeling it. We're going to have some good writing. Let's go. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. <laughs> Fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Costume change. I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, and a trial subscription to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day. <laughs> then I can buy a pair of glasses like Ingrid's. Oh, we just walk off screen. I was going to go through the door game. You've got a door there. It is fall in Porcupine, and I hope this is the right direction. That bike's been there ever since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. You'll steal somebody's bike? Okay, the mailman is a dog. I love it. Morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I, I heard Louis Colbert's coming, uh, having trouble sleeping, too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Oh, come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already, just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. <laughs> True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. <laughs> don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. I love that this is my inventory. Notes. Oh, we've got notes on Sussy. Sussy's the only mail, mail, mail carrier in Porcupine. She knows everyone, perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. Lovely. Can we, can we sit? No, I'm not, not getting any sit prompts. I hope this is the right way to the hospital. <laughs> There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's the better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Hmm. Suits me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? <laughs> Uh, true, true. Save some money. Oh, um. From here, I can get to the old town and the high street. It's weird that... Uh, weird what passes for a high street in a small town. 
All I know is that penis door is there, but I should check out the, the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name, at least. Small, crooked, old houses, the town hall, the town fountain, and Gilbert's, of course. The best and only pub in Porcupine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. Okay, we did go the right, we did go the right route. Let's go down. Hey, kid, road's still closed. Can't let you through here. So how do we get to, why is the road closed? Yeah, construction work today. We're building here. Stones, wood, steel, cement. Ah, oh, I see. So that's what building is. Yep. Someone like you wouldn't understand. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What's that on the poster? You trying to insult me, buddy? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just saying, watch out. I'm not standing here because I love dust and drills. And I won't let newcomers like you give me sass from the sidewalk. All right. Sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I should hope not. The guy on the poster looks nothing like me. Uh, yeah, you're you're right. <laughs> Confuse you with that guy. Only someone who needed their eyes tested. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you do that. Okay, well, we can't go that way. We'll get to that way anyway. Later at some point, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, this is reminding me a lot about... Um, um, Oh, what's that game? Something about Quiet Night. Not Five Nights at Freddy's, the other one. Oh, I'll have to look it up if we play a second up. Wait a minute. It's so clear. You can see from the glow milk woods from here. I like this morning here in the fall. Too bad I don't have more time. I wouldn't mind grabbing a coffee and eating my breakfast here. Well, that's good to know. Whee! Oh, it's like I've got a little paraglider. And there's another bus stop. Hello, ma'am. Don't mind me. I'm just going to pass on by. There's the pub, the turtle something or other. The snappy turtle. And there's the fountain. That's the big town fountain. It's a statue of Ninslav Hondortus. The founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Mm, seems to be broken. I'm sure they'll fix it in time. A little Chekhov's gun action there? Huh? Huh? Foreshadowing? Oh, it's St. Ursula's Hospital. Thus the Ursine, the bear. Yeah, okay. I'm picking it up. What's this? This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked, too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies. Is there super-secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe? Come on, reveal your secrets. I think it's just... I think it's just a trailer, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Up real high. There's a bike. How do I get to the bike? Don't know if I can go down. I don't think I can. There's a bike. <laughs> There's a plaque on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Nenslav Hondortas, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. 40 days later, he found them on this very spot. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. Build a house? I don't think you would build a house. You are a doctor or a nurse or something. Resident assistant, maybe. Yep, yep. Okay, let's get to St. Ursula Hospital. Let's go! <gasps> it's a bear. Like the bear we found in our dream. And I'm gonna get wet. Can I splash around in the puddle? 
I can, but it's not doing anything. Hello, we're here. Sorry we're late for work, but I apparently got hit in the head by boxes. I got hit in the head by boxes. Can I be excused? Okay, see, that's just fun. We get the change of costume. Hey, Ingrid. Morning, kiddo. So we're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury's healing up nicely now. I don't like her voice. Hold on, let me give me a second. I heard about your... <coughs> I'm watching you, Wazowski. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Uh, yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Yeah, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of the phenomena. What? The term is... Klutz. Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> How's Mr. Arndis? The old duffer's still alive. Making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Phew. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while. But because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who survived. Very funny. <laughs> but seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. And you need to swing your butt on over to your ward. On the third floor, in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then, before Dr. Kokowski rips your head off. Kro Krokowski. Krokowski. You're right. I'll get going. Thanks, Ingrid. Pie. Third floor. What? What? I am float. I am floating. Oh, oh, oh. You... She disappeared. I am floating. Okay, so this hospital... Wait, wait, wait. And is back. Hold on, I gotta follow this one. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, she's got a full beak. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me, we got to check. What's in... I can't go in there. It won't let me go in there. We just got to talk to her. Come here. 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 Hello, ma'am. Hold on. Hold on. Did you run into a wall? No, I had an accident here a few days ago. Oh, you're the new guy, Frankie. Philip? Uh, Franco? Finley. Finley! Right, right! Heard about your little episode. Seems you made quite the scene. Still look on the bright side with how rotten everyone is up there. You're lucky you didn't fall through the floorboards. You'd have landed right on our ward on the fourth floor. I'm Antamin, nurse upstairs in the Eternal Medicine too. Anyway, I gotta go mind you step, Funky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we gotta get to our ward. And I've gotta fly. Nope, we're just gonna go this way. Use the elevator. Let's use the elevator. Third floor. And there's an arrow right here saying go this way. Thanks, devs. You're adorable. Thank you for the subtle... <gasps> coffee! I want coffee! Hold on. Let me get a water. It's too late in the day for coffee unless it's decaf for me. So poor Finley. Sorry. No coffee for you. Oh, you are a bobcat.
Well, I guess the arrow was correct. We got to go this way. Oh, hi. Um, um, I forget your names. Ah, oh, Finley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. That's what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late again. Let me guess the bus didn't come. Yes, I'm sorry. I, The bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get there on time before we decide we cannot trust you. Got it? Yeah, yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds in room 301. Okay, sounds good. 301. Oh, um, are we not going to talk to this guy? So here is Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. I, uh, Miss Martin, a woman after my own heart. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well... Come on, spit it out. I... Um... Yes? Ulcer. A uh, stomach ulcer. Is that a question or your answer? My answer... Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. Chop, chop. Look, chop. Oh, 303. Okay, so we're just going to ignore this guy here. He's sleeping. Yeah, let him sleep. 303, way ahead of you. We're going. Let's go. Dr. Dr. Krakowski. Krakowski. Craig Zauksi. We're going to let this guy sleep too. Shh. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Dr. Ski. It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? Oh, that's right. Careful. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I could do that, Dr. K. Oh, uh, well, I was down at school with the others. Uh, we were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday, but I definitely want to learn. Uh, my board is super cool. It has green wheels, and the grip tape is all black and brand new, and I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. Uh, I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a, a robot in the bottom. Uh, it's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good, but what were you all doing down at school? Uh, well, um... Uh, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you got to smoke too. Uh, it's all part of the deal, he said. Uh, I really didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to be a chicken, you know. I was still out of breath for practicing. Uh, he, he lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. Uh, I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I... Coughed, she coughed. I could get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. So, yeah, that's it, really. Thank you, Larissa. You've explained it all very well. Well, then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? What do you think, Finley? Mm. Uh, I know Dr. Krakowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay. Sorry, Dr. Krauske. <laughs> asthma. It could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. 
Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> Good, Larissa. Keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P-33. Oh, and Finley... We already know this patient. It's Dr. Willy Arndes. I assume the name rings a bell? Mr. Arndes, yes. He's a permanent guest in our ward. Mr. Arndes is an old-timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Okay. Will do. Oh, yeah. Gotta be quiet. This guy's sleeping. P-33. Yeah, okay. Again, devs, we're following your little arrow. We're going, P-33. P-33. P-31. 32. And 33. There we go. Maybe I'm a pigeon. I might... I'm a pigeon. I am a pigeon. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arntz. <laughs> this matter's very important to me, and I'll ensure it's resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Oh, uh, Dr. Krakowski, nice to see you. Good morning, Dr. Mr. Heinrich. What do we have? Oh, the honor. Heinrich, okay. By Mr. Arntz, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet, ready to throw yourself back into the fray. Uh, yes, I'm doing well. Uh, thank you, Mr. Heinrich. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula's does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arns to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there, around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Uh, speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arn's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange for the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, uh, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Was he the... Uh Administrator, maybe? Yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Arns. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I, I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arns. Well, what are you doing here, then? I'd like to find out how how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then. Uh, go ahead. Finley. Hmm? Yes? Mr. Arn suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. 
He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arne's dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arns if he wants to do it himself, if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. Uh, all right, uh, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Arns. I'm very pleased to see you. Mm, I know you. Uh, yes, maybe. Uh, there was an accident. Do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arns? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arns. Now, let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. Treatment. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the buttons shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the buttons shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible. Don't release really any of the buttons as long as they're displayed. Okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go. A. Oh. A. B. Uh, B. And a C. And a T. And... Oh, oh, no. T. Uh, also in P. And now I. Now C. And V. And then A. And then a W. R. And a Z. Okay. H. And an M. Okay, I was not expecting this to be a typing simulator. Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Mrs. Gorkowski. Doctor. No, 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 I'm not a doctor. Just an absent-minded old fool. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you a task for today's shift. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're going this way. I got excited and went to the left. I'm assuming we're coming to this board over here. I'll wait for you. There you are. Back to full health, I trust? Yes, all good. I'm glad to be back at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks on your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. <laughs> I still don't believe in these electronic patient records. But Heydrich and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. We've done a test run and some updates, so all the words have to use this app. All the wards have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient app on your smartphone. Everything else should be there already. I think that's what it said. Uh, this one. Downloading today's schedule. Okay, 301 needs pills, 303 needs a checkup, and 304 needs to be cut. All right. The file tells you what to treat and what they need. Child's play, really? Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you've completed today's tasks. And make sure you don't collect any more bon ba band-aids on your face at the end of my shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. Okay, 301, 303, and 304. Here's 301. Let's just go, go down the line. Sir, you keep sleeping. Hey, we got pills. Hello. Uh, there you are again. N nice to see you again, Mrs. Martin. I'd rather we make it s somewhere else next time. Uh, yes, I'd prefer that, too. How are you? Oh, you know, I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. Uh, I have bad stomach pains. Uh, do you have heartburn? I always have heartburn. Had it for years. Yes, a stomach ulcer's no joke. 
I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I've had a lot of arguments with my daughter, and my job's got me pulling my hair out. I'm very sorry to hear that, Mrs. Martin. Do you think the ulcer is stress-related? Mm, no, I don't think so. In fact, you're very unlikely to develop an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came to us so early. That's good. Last night's tests show you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think will help. All right, let's see that. Another mini game. Here we go. Prescribe the right medication to get all the patient's readings at optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings once you're satisfied with the medication. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. I gotcha. So we need to, oh, we need to subtract some blue, but not add orange. Oh, we are, we're going to need both. We're going to need both of these reds. So let's get that one and that one. And then this one will get that back up and that'll get that back up. Yeah. Okay. Three pills. Off we go. Treatment complete. Hey. If we'd done it faster, would we gotten an A+. Plus? Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was up all night with the pain. Well, get well soon. I'll see you later. Thank you and good night. One down. I don't have any run button. We're just walking. That's okay. This guy's sleeping. 303. Oh, I can't even jump now. It's just walked for me. Hey, Doc. What's your name? Uh, hey, Larissa. I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say, Doctor. I'd like to listen to your lungs. Uh, y you mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry, it's not that cold. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I guess it's a bit cold most of the time, but it'll only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Well, yes, okay. Shall we get started? Y yeah, let's do it. All right, jumping hearts, rattling lungs. Press the button that shows on the screen at the right moment, arrow keys. Okay, when a button appears on the top or bottom line. Gotcha. Let's go. Here we go. Down, 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 down. No, no, um, down, 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 down. Oh, boo. Oh, I understand what it is now. Oh, boo. No, I got... Oh, oh, okay. So you've got to use the up and down keys to move it up and down. And then the... Oh, the, oh that's mean. That's messing with my head. That really was only cold for a second. What did you hear, doctor? Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle? Like the musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra. Oh, but I didn't swallow it, I, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? No, not to worry. Have you heard of asthma? We'll get this under control. <laughs> your file says you were admitted yesterday. You've got given some medica medicine, right? Then it got better? Yeah, I thought I was going to suffocate. Uh, really scary. But then I, I suddenly felt better. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm sure it was. We'll keep an eye on you for a bit, but there's nothing to worry about. What you went through was awful, but things will get better again from here on out. Okay, Doc. Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. 
two. Why do I have such squeaky shoes? Good morning, Miss Hemling. Uh, you've just had thyroid surgery, right? How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. Oh, that's very understandable. Uh, please, take it easy then. Drinking can be a little tricky when you've just had surgery. But once the wound is healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That would be nice. I need to have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings and take a quick look at your sutures. Press E to continue, okay? You. Oh, it's this again. Uh, I and O. Now C and B and M and M and U and H and was that a G and an O and an E? Oh, just the and a J and K. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that one. That one's stressful. <laughs> Looking good so far. Everything seems to be all right. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, good job. Way to follow orders. Doc, Doc, I think we're done. Can I go home now? I did three things. My job's done, right? All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. A C A. Yeah, if I understood that the other the mini game better, I would have I would have done a lot better on that one. But oh well. Everything seems in order here. Perhaps the knock to your head did some good after all. Keep it up, Finley. Okay, I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, uh, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door's on the right. But you can also take the elevator if you like. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Haley and I need the results. And can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's keep your fingers crossed then. Off you go. I need those results today. Lab. Basement. Dr. Halil. Got it. What are you still doing here? Do you have gauze in your ears? Go to the lab on the first floor and pick up the blood results. Now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's a whole extra level in here. Down we go. Floor zero. Dr. Halil. Oh. Locked. Hello? See that red light above the door? That what? Yeah, uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... Uh, you see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy. Prohibited, negative, no access, or simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see that does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Oh. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a whole thing in here. Oh, he's a mole. I love it. I love it. All right, here I am. Oh, wow. What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? 
And what? The light. Was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked you for. And indeed, indeed. Uh, so, uh, why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here uh, somewhere. Okay. All right. Looking for blood results. Looking for blood results. Ah, oh, these look like blood results. Are these them? Now, where are were we? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, the documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator. Of course. Saves times when matching them to the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. Uh, the day becomes so much more effective uh, once one reduces the distance between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. And now you can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all... Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. Oh, horror. What a mishap. Ah, that bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right and I'll be right again in no time. Oh, what was me? Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? It makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Uh, let's see. Just a minute. Uh, why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, uh, that's my sorting system. <laughs> it looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as, as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around, so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around till all the same colors are facing each other. Then, when four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single-colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. It's quite simple. Okay. You're very smart. All right, let's do this. Okay. I'm loving it. Let's go. Samples got mixed up. Q and E. Rotate the flask. Oh, y yes, I see. Okay. Okay, so this one needs to be ro Yep, there. Okay, so there's that square. And then this one gets rotated this way. Yes, yes, I see, I see. Um. Oh, so this one needs to get rotated that way, so that's red to red. Yep, good. And then this one gets rotated that way. And then this one rotates thusly. So this one and this one go that way. And then the blue's over here. Yellow's down that way. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. All right. So then this one. Uh, how do we select? Oh, there we go. Goes yellow, green. And, and rotates that way. No, not there. Orange, red, pink. Yeah, yeah, looks right. Perfect. Yeah. Nope, that... Not quite right. Not quite right. <laughs> it's not simple, but it works. You see? Fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your efforts. I'd better get back to my work. Um... Dr. Hillel? Was there something else, dear doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski. Oh, right, 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 Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours of my day. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? Yes, yes, one does. <laughs> and, uh, 
if you want to see some more of this game, of this charming, charming little game, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll play it again next time here on the backlog.